and welcome to DPR Friday. I'm Thais Carter, Director of Content for Advanced Star Dental Media, and here's this week's dental news brought to you by Ivoclar Vividen's Tetric Evo Ceram. We have a lot to cover this week, so let's dive right into the featured products in this month's issue of DPR. Featuring microburst technology, Philips Sonicare's new Sonicare Air Floss is designed to be easier for patients to use while maximizing interdental plaque removal. Engineered to use a rapid burst of air and water droplets to thoroughly fill up the interproximal area and force biofilm out, the unit also features an ergonomic handle and a slim angled nozzle designed for easy access to all areas of the mouth. Septodont USA launched the Evolution. Featuring a proprietary scalpel designed bevel, the Evolution needle is engineered for a smoother penetration with less tissue displacement. Now this is said to lead to less discomfort for the patient, even when used for multiple injections, and for dentists, the need for less force combined with significantly reduced deflection reportedly brings better control and accuracy. Carare America's Clearfill Aesthetic Cement EX is a dual cure high performance resin cement system. Offered in universal, clean, and opaque white shades, the system utilizes self-etch technology to achieve low post-operative sensitivity, long-term durability, and high bond strength. And last, but certainly not least, a repeat standout from last month. Featuring ultra-fast optical sectioning technology, Three Shapes Trios utilizes up to 1,000 3D pictures to create geometries based on real data. The scanner does not require dentists to apply spray to coat the patient's teeth, making scanning fast, accurate, and comfortable for patients. Dentists can preview 3D lab designs on the TRIO screen, evaluate and agree on margin lines, access virtual diagnostic wax-ups, and generally discuss cases with labs and patients when convenient. Switching gears, this month's cover story in both the dental products report and dental lab products looks at the way the recession has reshaped patient attitudes towards dental treatment. Now, rather than rehash the main points, we want to invite Renee Knight, our senior editor who authored both pieces, to come out and answer a few questions. Welcome, Renee. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Now, I know that we've been really excited to write this article, but why do it in May of 2011 when the economy is just starting to come back? Sure. Well, I mean, the, the dental patient, the economy has changed the dental patient. They're thinking more about where they're spending their money just in general, not just in dentistry. So it's really a time for the dentist to think about changing and adapting to this new patient. And not only that, it's still top of mind, whether you're a patient or a dentist or um, a lab owner. And we wanted to provide some tips and some guidance for dentists and lab owners to be able to strive in this type of environment. Great. Now, was there anything in your interviews or research for the article that surprised you? Well, in talking um, for the DPR article, um, the debate over inter offering internal financing, many dentists are kind of leery of doing this, hesitant to do it, while some of the consultants I spoke with said this could actually be a great option for patients, particularly those who may not qualify for the third party financing, and this gives them a great option, and it's just a matter of having the right systems in place to be able to do it. Great. Now, what would you say are the main takeaways for the dentist? Sure. Well, for the dentist, I mean, again, the patient is changing. They were a few years ago, it was more in a want space. Now it's more of a needs based. And even what they consider a need is changing based on what insurance is covering and what they can afford, that type of thing. So it's really important for the dentist to be communicating and educating to make sure that their patients are seeing the value in the dentistry and the treatment that they're offering and to be more flexible as far as the financing options that they're offering. Um, the material choices, looking into more affordable options, and then also phasing treatment and making it more affordable for patients that way. Great. Now, what about for the lab technician? What are the main takeaways for them? Well, as the dentist is adapting to this changing patient, the lab can really step up their game and become that resource for the dentist who's trying to find these more affordable materials. I mean, there's so many material options coming out, and you know, the lab can be that go-to resource for them. And, you know, again, it's about, you know, upping their marketing efforts and letting the dentists know what they can do and how they can help uh, get the treatment for the patient. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Renee. Uh, to read both articles, don't forget to pick up the May issues of DPR and DLP, or you can find them at dentalproductsreport.com. Now, we're almost out of time, but since this Sunday is Mother's Day, we can't sign off without wishing all our moms out there a very special Mother's Day. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day! Day. So for more on the latest products and industry news, don't miss DPR Friday next week and every week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.